Hey everybody, Brian Holly Hans here, 16 year old conservative commentator, founder and editor in chief of the Truth Gazette. We're here for the second edition of the Brawling on the Street interviews. This Iron Bowl Saturday, the biggest Saturday in the South, Bama versus Auburn. A big game's gonna be happening behind me in a few hours, but first, we're gonna take to the streets to do some interviews with people about what's going on in the country. Trump's running, Pelosi's out, and Thanksgiving dinner is up 40%. Let's go to the streets and see what people have to say. There's no better place to be on a Saturday in the South than Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Look who we found again. We had you in the first edition of Street Interviews back a few weeks ago against the Vanderbilt Bama game. Now we're back. We found Ronnie back on the street. You were a big hit with the crowd. Ronnie, Trump is running in 2024. He announced a few weeks ago. What's your reaction to that? Man, I love him. Love you, Trump. Uh, I think you're a great president. However, um, I'm concerned about long term. I want to have the country turned around. And quite frankly, I think DeSantis is more... Um, I think you would bring the country together better. I think you can still play a role, but I think that uh, at the end of the day, I think we're going to get people voting against you as opposed to for you. And so while I love you, uh, maybe let DeSantis have a turn and let's get this uh, country back on a capitalistic republic uh, trajectory. Thank you very much. Um, honestly, I think he's going to win. Okay, okay, good statement. I think it's a great thing. He's definitely got my vote. I mean, you look at two, three plus years ago, gas prices are great. I drive to work twice a week to Birmingham at an hour commute, spending about $320 a month, $285 a gallon. Uh, so I'm, I'm looking forward to it and feeding a family of two for less than 40 bucks would be nice. Yeah, that would be great, that would so, be great, yeah. <laughs> Come on, man. Well, I like Trump. I'm not sure that he should have taken the bid. I like DeSantis as well, but of course I'm going to support whoever the Republican Party comes out with. Because he's a champ, he's a winner, and I want you to say a few words. Ron, thank you. Um, first initial thought is... Wow. <laughs> That's exciting, right? <laughs> um, second one is what is going to be different to win over the majority of the GOP, right? And I'm interested to see what his platform will be. There. So Nancy Pelosi is officially retired as Speaker of the House. Republicans have control of the House. What's your reaction? Oh, we did a happy dance. Oh, oh yeah. Happy dance. Glad to send her packing. Awesome. Made awesome. my day. Wonderful. Wonderful. I love to hear it. Well, she's going back to California. In order to open these doors, we do not say open sesame. We say open Biden. That's our magic word. Open Biden. I love it. I think that's the greatest thing that's happened in 40 years. Uh, Pelosi is worth over, what, $80 million. She gets $176,000 salary. Uh, she's a corrupt politician. Thank God she's gone. Go tend to your husband and all his craziness. And uh, I think the country's better off for it. She did. She went. She did. That's my reaction. <laughs> Good morning. Sunday morning. The, uh... Well, it's finally time to send her back to California. I think some things will finally be able to get passed in the House. And, uh, you know, it's just looking good all around for the uh, the Red Party. So, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Hey, you know, inflation's up, gas prices are up. Thanksgiving dinner was up 40% from when Trump was in office, thanks to Joe Biden. What do you think about that? Pretty wild, man. Wild stat line. Oh, I will that's transition. a big statement. That is a big statement. That's um, inflation is a mofo right now. <laughs> um, speaking from someone that has gone to highest cost of living areas in the country, to low cost of living area in the country, such as Alabama, uh, it doesn't really matter. Everybody's being affected. Yeah. Um, to From people that are making... You know, the average, I think, income in the United States right now for a family household is $65,000. With inflation, that's in, that's like near impossible to live, yeah. right? So there are things that definitely have to be changed. Mr. President, are you relying on... Do you have a firm commitment 
I just think uh, inflation. I mean, the fact that we've got to uh, import oil when we have all the oil we need here at home, and uh, you know, Biden's put us in a position that we are importing oil uh, to be able to pay our way, and quite frankly, it's driving inflation up, cap rates, interest rates. Um, it, it's just not good. So uh, I feel bad for those that can't afford. And uh, hopefully we get a more republic, uh, Republican uh, House and Senate this coming term. And hopefully we get a Republican uh, president and, uh, and we can move forward in a more positive direction like when Trump was in office. Well, we own and run a small business, so um, it's definitely hurt our pocketbook. We see it. The second that um, Biden got, you know, in office, we saw the fallback from that as far as the small business. So we gave our employees $100 Walmart gift cards wow. to make up for it. But it's not, you know, maybe I can make it sound like all of a sudden, my God, it went to 8.2%. It's, been, it's the highest inflation rate, Mr. President, in 40 years. I got that. Uh, no surprise there, really. But, yeah, I mean, it's tough. All these... Uh, the middle class families that are the lifeline of uh, this, you know, the American culture and everything are the ones getting hit hardest with everything. So it's just so unfortunate and uh, hopefully we'll get a turn of events soon. So let's go Brandon to that. Well, let's go Brandon, absolutely. Let's go Brandon, I agree. Yeah. Hey,